Alright, so here we are. I've got finally got my um, M18X. Uh, after I sent back my M17X R3 from just general like hardware problems, software problems, all that. Um, so I just ended up sending it back and uh, gone ahead and I've said, you know, just switch it and I'll get the new M18X because the M18X wasn't actually out of time of when I bought the M17X. So I thought, you know, I might as well get the bigger one. So I did. Just go ahead and cut this open. This is the box it came in. The M17X actually came in a more of like a protective box than this. I don't know why. This one is just in the alienware box. Come on. It seems it's been opened or something because yeah, they've already cut the tab and they haven't stuck it back again. Could have been customs or it could have actually been the shop because I did ask them to um, have open this one up for me, have a look at it before they send it away. Just to ensure that there was no problems with it. So this is the box you see here, as you probably, if you're looking to buy one, you'll be used to seeing this kind of box. The Alienware box, the little carry handle, blah blah blah. So we'll go ahead and open it up. Alright, so this is the front here. This fold open here. And it'll spin around. And then we've got this box here. So which is the accessories box. We'll go ahead and open this. Alright, so in here we've just got a mouse pad that they throw in. Alienware mouse pad. A cap. A little leather booklet with some sticky tape on it for no reason. And this is just, just um, user manual contents. All that software CDs, resource DVD, all that. And we've got Microsoft Windows 7 Ultimate 64 bit CD right here. And we've got the Power Brick. This is actually considerably larger than the M17X's Power Brick. This one's about double the size. And a converter for the optical audio sticker, and the other power cord that connects into the power brick. So that's all for the accessories box. I'll go ahead and take that one out. And that over here. Okay, and straight up inside, you see the Alienware computer sitting in here. I threw in a power adapter because I live in Australia. Okay, go ahead and take this out. I waited about two weeks for this, no, actually about three weeks for this computer. With the M17X, that actually had um, factory delays, so that took about four weeks. So this is quite considerably uh, quicker. So take off the protective foam padding. Let's throw on for shipping. Okay, I'll just get this out of the way and I'll set up the camera again so we can have a look at it close up. Okay, so here we have it in its sleeve that it comes in. And we've got the box that it came in over here. Just lay that up there. Okay, so this is the sleeve that it comes in, a nice little like protective velvet sleeve. And then we've got the laptop here. I'll just go ahead and take the other sleeve. Oh, that's nice. That's quite nice. Yeah. Now, I ordered the black, um, the black version of it. Um, this is it, but uh, this almost looks like it's kind of like a really dark metallic 
pinky, pinky black kind of colour to it. And we've got the alien head here and a rubber grip here for when you're carrying it so you don't drop it. Okay, I'll go ahead and open the laptop for the first time. And that is considerably larger than um, the M17X. But even now I'm opening, I can see there's like fingerprints on here and there's a bit of speck on the screen here, like a little, I don't know. Uh, but all the, all the body's fine. Yeah, I would really like to see Alienware ensure that their um, laptops actually come like a spick and span clean. It is a really expensive laptop, so you kind of expect that from them. Alright, so here it is here. I've just opened it all up and we'll go ahead and turn it on for the first time. Alright, so I'm glad to see on this one that it's actually all working perfectly fine. On my previous M17X, which I ended up sending back, that Alienware um, logo didn't light up. Um, and the alien head on the back of the lid didn't light up, which on this one, it does. So, I'm happy about that, uh, which is a good thing. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and um, set up the computer, put it up on my, I'll put my stand, and then I'll take another video of the lighting effects, the uh, some gameplay, and just the general comparison of the M18X against the M17X. Okay, so just quickly, I'll just show you the build quality on the laptop. As you can see, it's really nice, as always. Although I would have liked to see the laptop to be a bit cleaner when I got it. There was a speck on the screen and, and fingerprints, which um, it's not really, you know, it's an expensive laptop. You expect it to be perfectly clean when you receive it. But that's alright. Alright, so here we are. I've got it all set up on my desk. Uh, it's on the Ergo stand I've got, Cooler Master Ergo stand with a Tactex keyboard for gaming because it's up on the stand. Uh, I've got my Razer Mamba down here, uh, my external hard drive Western Digital, my Razer Megalodon. And that's what it looks like all set up. What? What? What is it? What? Who's there? Who's there? <laughs> Stupid dog. Okay, <laughs> back to the computer. I'll go ahead and I'll show you Alien FX, which is like one of the main reasons why people buy Alienware, because you can customise all the colours on it. So I'll go ahead and change this section to orange, blue, uh, green and red, and then I'll change this to um, orange. And then I'll change that to pink and this to blue. And as you can see, it's all changed. So I'll go ahead and do it again and you can watch the keyboard to see it happening in real time. As you can see, it's all changing colours. Change the mouse pad to aqua. I'll change the Alienware to orange and so on and so forth. You can change the keyboard as well. I'll go ahead and I'll change the keyboard then. Make the keyboard red and the alien head blue. And then we'll hit apply. Saving alien effect settings. And go ahead and close it. So yeah, I like the kind of like white and orange colour. I reckon it looks cool. So, um, yeah, we've got the 18 inch screen here. Um, the glare on the screen is pretty bad when you're outside. It's 
it does glare up quite a lot, so it's kind of more of like an indoors computer, otherwise um, gaming outdoor, you know, it's it, the glare is pretty bad, but it's not unbearable. Um, I'll go ahead and just show you the body of the computer. So on this one I think they put in like another card slot, micro, USBs, blah blah blah, SATA and HDMI in on that side. And then on this side we've got all the audio jacks, all that kind of stuff. Um, we've got more USBs, we've got HDMI out, VGA and an Ethernet. And I'll go ahead and show you the lid of the computer. So it's got the alien head here that lights up. And the nice kind of... I don't know what that feels like. It's like a... Um, it's nice. And then we've got like a black rubber here. Okay, so that's my M18X so far. Go ahead and post more videos. I uh, might do a screen recording of some gameplay that I got when I reinstall Crisis or something like that. And I'll uh, keep you updated. Cheers. Alright, so I've just gone ahead and done this um, uni, uni gene graphics testing thing. Just to show you, it's running on all extra high settings. Everything's on high. I've got the ATI Raiden dual 2 gig graphics cards in here. Uh, I've got the um, i7 2800QM I believe a uh, one terabyte solid state hard drive uh, pretty much all the best you can get for the M18X uh, so yeah I'll just go ahead and let you watch this